here are Chapman's reflexes for the thymus, the neurolymphatic reflexes. I'm just going to call them Chapman's reflexes. Maybe I'll call them Chapman's neurolymphatic because that's a term you're more familiar with. I need someone to come up here and volunteer who may have some kind of immune system issues. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate testing of the infraspinatus muscle and the lower and middle trapezius muscle. Bend your elbow. Now there are several ways of doing this, but hold your arm up and, put your, and I'm going to ask you to put your teeth together. When you do these muscles, don't ask me why right now because it's a whole other explanation, but if you test these muscles in the upright position, you need to gently touch the teeth together because it'll uncover a lot of hidden ones. So gently touch your teeth together, resist as I push down. There's a weakness of the infraspinatus. Teeth together again, resist. It's just on the one side. Let's therapy localize to the Chapman's reflex. Teeth together. Okay, let it relax. Let's test the middle and lower trapezius. I'm gonna do the standing. Push against me as I push forward. And then that's the lower trapezius, and then this is the middle trapezius. Here again, bring it way up. Lower trapezius and middle trapezius, okay? So I have an infraspinatus weakness, which means I have a thymus involvement, and I see uh, the Chapman's reflex is positive on therapy localization. I'm gonna give her, just for fun, because I brought it, some thymus tissue. Just chew that up for me, please. Okay. Now face this way again. And bend here. Put your teeth together. Push hard. Oh, but I got the thing between my teeth. Okay, but well you can taste it though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chew it up real good. Okay, so that strengthens her. It's a little straighter, right? Mm -hmm. All right, over here, so people can see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this reflex point. He looks in the car and the rest of the women are white as a sheet and they just don't look so well. He says, ma'am, he says, are your friends, are they okay? She says, yeah, they'll be fine. She says, we just came off of Highway 160. <laughs> are we in a minute yet? Please say it. Uh, yes, a minute? Okay. okay, teeth together, push. Now, here's what I want to show you. We just treated the thymus, right? We had the infraspinatus get strong. Hold your arm out to the side. I don't know what I'm going to find, but teeth together. Turn your thumb like that. Resist as I push forward. Bring it up over your head. Push. There it is. Now, this muscle, which was previously weak, strong, is now weak. It may be one side or both sides. Push again, teeth together. It's both sides weak. Push here. The lower trapezius and is weak on both sides, and the middle trapezius is weak on the right. Those were strong before. When you treat immune system problems, you have to check the thymus. If it's present, then you have to check the spleen, or if you check the spleen, you then have to check the thymus afterwards, because they layer one upon the other. It's like the two generals, they both want to get their plans into play, but the one has the first crack and the other one has the second crack that they both need to put in there. Maybe it's the general and the admiral or something. So the general for the army wants to get his plan into effect, but then after he gets his plan into effect, then the general for the navy, the air force, they got to do their job. But they both have to get fired up, but only one starts the process. So you always have to treat both the thymus and spleen, not always, but most time have to treat the thymus and spleen, but only find one of them at a time. Just take your hand, put it over here again. In the seventh or eighth intercostal space, resist as I push down, teeth together. Okay, so take your hand away. So we rub here for about a minute, time me again. So they have a good time, they say, well, let's go back and do this again when we're 70. So they turn 70 and they say, where should we go to dinner? Well, let's go to the lamppost. They have wheelchair access and they have an elevator. <laughs> they say, let's do this again in 10 years. They turn 80, they say, where should we go to a the restaurant? They say, let's go to the lamppost. We've never been there before. <laughs> Done? Okay. So, hold your arm over your head. Put your teeth together. Push hard. Okay, and hold up here again. Push hard. And push out here. Okay. Now, face this way again. Open close your mouth. How's it feel? It's much better. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can feel it. You can't feel what I can feel. There's a little click there mm -hmm. left, but it's even better now. Yep. So if you can you already saw that the range of motion was better. I don't think we need to show that again. Right. We didn't check anything else, but I will tell you that many of your patients and clients and friends and family will have problems with the immune system, which will manifest themselves as shoulder problems because of these muscles, neck problems because this muscle, lower trapezius, middle trapezius, when they're weak, allow the upper trapezius to get tight, tight up in here, mm -hmm. tightness in here from immune system problems. Well, this is one of the most fundamental things. I have to do this on the, on the majority of my patients, what we just did there. And 
regardless of what they come in for. It could be a neck problem, it could be a back problem, it could be a shoulder problem, it could be an immune system problem like Hashimoto's or, or rheumatoid arthritis, it doesn't matter. They have these muscle weaknesses and sometimes they manifest as some other symptom in the immune system, but sometimes they manifest only as the musculoskeletal patterns. And people don't think in terms of immune system related to that, but it is. Thank you very much. And GMJ problems as well. And the other thing that's missed in this is TM, this is a finding of my own, how involved the TMJ can be with the thymus and the spleen, and that's what we wanted to show that.